Uh, well, we've got some terrific shows. Um, uh, starting with the early morning hours, we have a show called Morning Intentions, which is produced by a local businesswoman, a Jocelyn Fee, who runs a company called Sacred Roots. Um, and it's a wonderful show getting you set up for the morning um, with music and meditations and uh, concepts and wonderful things. Uh, it's followed by my show, uh, 8 to 9 a.m. every morning, Monday through Friday, Mornings on the Beach, uh, a irreverent take on the day's headlines and zeitgeist, pretty much. Whatever's going on, we talk about and we have a lot of fun with it. Um, there's a wonderful show that I want to highlight called The Shameless. Uh, and that is done by a young producer, Nicole Mackey, a local comedian who brings on one guest every week and they get to talk about their most embarrassing moments in life and it's really funny. And then they, the guest plays songs that connect them to that memory. It's really a lot of fun. And then uh, some of our other talk shows that are uh, uh, notable, uh, Bear Law, uh, produced by a local uh, lawyer, uh, Robert Bear, and he has been on the air since the beginning of KLBP with a great talk show. Uh, and always local guests and uh, a, a lot of fun on that show as well. Uh, and let's see, we, Let's Cope. Let's Cope is KLBP's quarantine response show. It airs twice a week on Wednesdays and Sundays at 1 p.m. And it's really also reaching out and serving the community with a lot of uh, resources. Uh, uh, we're showcasing uh, community musicians and songwriters and singers on the show, as well as local business persons discussing how they're... Uh, handling it, how they're getting along. So it's really a great, um, a great lineup. And there's so many more shows, blues shows. We have R&B shows. We have great, uh, t other great talk shows that are go more in depth. Uh, we have a two hour show called Indie Creators in the Joy Zone. And that's um, Suzanne and Thomas. And they uh, go in depth with their interview, usually with a couple of guests per show. They're also a, a, a YouTube broadcast that's a simulcast um, uh, or taped uh, for a simulcast. So those are some of the good ones. Um, I really, I'm, I'm proud of our uh, programming lineup, especially in the last couple of months since we started announcing we were taking programming. We've had like a 300% increase in submissions and uh, approved last meeting about seven new radio programs that start up in the next week. It's very easy to submit uh, to KLBP if you have an idea or a show you want us to hear. And that is through the um, submission button at the bottom of the website, klbp.org. And um, you can put us an idea, you can uh, type in your idea, if that's all you have, and we'll get back to you. And then um, if we like it, we'll put you into a producer's group where you can develop the show. Or if you already have a show, then indeed send us the sample and it could be a shorter process for you. Also know that uh, training has already begun uh, with our new producers. So those uh, residents who decided they want to join uh, and have gotten approved their idea, uh, we're starting to train already. This Saturday we have our producers group meeting. Every other Saturday we have them virtually now. And this Saturday's topic is showing people how to, know, uh, how to add compression to their radio files to make them sound better. Uh, that's the uh, training we give. We give a specified training each week on how to develop your radio show. So if you're interested, get right on in. Get your idea in. One way is uh, on the website, there's a link for um, become a volunteer. And you'll meet our wonderful uh, community organizer. Uh, she is uh, Christina Gamble, our volunteers manager. And she herself stepped into the arena and said, what can I do? I'm great at organizing people. And it was her passion for uh, being around and wanting to you know, be part of this organization that had us appoint her. So she stepped up as a volunteer and ended up with a role at the radio station. Anybody can do that. Just go ahead and get in touch with us through our uh, website and uh, you'll get, someone will get back to you and tell you what the next step will be. Now, a lot of people are, they say, you know what, I don't really have a talent for doing much, but I'm around if you need me. And we need a lot of those kind of folks, especially as we ramp back up into having events out in Long Beach again. I miss our fourth Fridays. I miss our, our, our Bixby Knowles um, uh, farmer's markets. Uh, I miss everything we used to do, and so I can't wait to get out there again. And we were just getting to the point where there was a lot of people out there helping us, and they were just fantastic, just a great group. So if you want to do that, you can. Or if you're in radio and retired, or radio has retired you, <laughs> go ahead and get in touch with us. We'd want to put you back on the air, especially in a training role, helping others learn. Donations are especially important because that's how we survive. All of public radio survives on contributions. And there's a very easy way to do that. It's very secure. 
if you're concerned about your credit card, we're, we paid attention as well. So right on our website, there's a donate button and it will take you to the process. Uh, you can become a sustaining member also if you'd like to and give us a donation monthly. A smaller one maybe over time that's easier for you to manage. Great. We'd love it. And everything, every single dime goes to running this radio station. You know, there are costs involved uh, just streaming that are uh, annual. There are costs that are monthly. And also there's costs that we'd want to be able to develop more training space, uh, providing more equipment, uh, the latest equipment. We've been so benefited by the people who've gotten involved and donated equipment. But with every day that passes, that equipment, which is already old, is aging. So just trying to keep up with everything. And uh, to that end, it is our uh, goal to be all digital in a year. Right now we're analog and we'd love it, but I'd love to be all digital. Um, it's easier to manage and it's also a lot more um, uh, responsive when you're away from the station and need to remote in. So I love that. 